Meredith, hi. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? I guess, but that's nice for a change. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Steve. When will the files arrive, and when do you need the feedback? Ah, oh, well, it should arrive tomorrow, and I need it yesterday. I could just send it to your post office, right? Yep, can't miss. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87, add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. <sighs> All right. Let's watch this. Steve's parcel. And a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. Good morning, P.O. It's time for a P.O. Positive or that P. Okay, folks. Let's see what it is today. The floor is yours, Angie. Good morning, Jack. I've got a pet peeve. Returned videos that have not been rewinded. I mean, really? Be kind and rewind. Thanks. Duly noted, Angie. And now on to today's weather. We can enjoy the sun in the morning, but the clouds will cover it more and more. Enough talking. Here are some tunes. Earth do these folks order? Oh, hello again. More mail for me? And the tape you gave me. Oh, wow. You watched it already? A drifter in a sleepy town, an affair, and a plot to kill a husband? There's a lot more to this movie than I expected. It's a classic, and probably my favorite noir. They did a remake a couple years back, but it's, well, it's not as good. You can't beat Lana Turner's smoldering intensity.
Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Most of the people here don't really appreciate the art of classic cinema. They just want to see Police Academy again. <laughs> I'm afraid you're right. Pretty lonely being the only movie buff around. Well, keep feeding my VCR and I'll be up to speed in no time. Will do. Let me think about it and I'll get back to you. You know, it's good to see you. That's nice to hear. Because I have a sneaky little plan. Oh, we're whispering now? I want you to meet me, say, at, at five today. What? Like a date? <laughs> well, more like a business proposal. You in? All right. I'm in. Hurrah! I'll see you this afternoon. Wait, where are we meeting up? Your place? It's 102 New Street, right? Yes. How did you find that out? Looked up your last name in the Rolodex. Your parents are regular clients. Oh, well. It's settled then. See you at five, partner. Hmm. These look like bills.
Wait, where's the package? Leave it on the doorstep. Hi there, Mr. Mackey. How's Mortimer? Oh, good day, Meredith. Mort's fine, as I expected. It was just a little indigestion. A good night's rest and a bit of lake trout in the morning has done the little critter a world of good. Excellent. Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Let me take him off your hands. All right. Bye, Mort. Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? I'm having fun, yes. Well, that's good. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. For sure, Mr. Mackey. Have a nice day.
on earth do these folks order? Hi, Maureen. Hi, hon. How are you doing this fine day? I'm fine, but how are you? You know, with the kitchen exploding? Oh, that? <laughs> Nothing a fresh lick of paint and a mop couldn't fix. Doesn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Meredith Wise, back in Providence Oaks. <gasps> How's life treating you, darling? actually. I delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier. Yeah, she told me. How did that go for you? I think it went okay. I can imagine it can be a lot to take in for the both of you, especially after being away for so long. Then again, there are some things that never change, right? You being one of them. <laughs> I will take that as a compliment. But I bet the diner looks a bit strange to you, doesn't it? I like what you did with the place. Yeah, I decided it was time for a change. Didn't feel the same after my stand died. World keeps turning. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? Oh my gosh, Maureen. Stan died? I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But it's really okay. It's been ten years already. Ten and a half, almost. Oh, boy, did I love that man. Oh, we've been married for so long hit me like a brick, but after a while, I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's not what Stan would have wanted either. That's really inspiring. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back up. So I did, for me, but also for Kay. She took her uncle's death pretty hard. I can imagine that. <sighs> Sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, <laughs> look at your face. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? Call. Uh, it's okay, hon. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, but Kay's been through a lot. Uh, nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. I think seeing you again shook her up a little, is all. She must have missed you during those days. I can imagine.
It was good to see her again. I've missed her too. Then it sounds like you know what to do. Listen, Meredith. Time marches on. And eventually, you realize it's marching across your face. Life's too short. That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. And listen, you check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's important in life. And on my heart, I will return as soon as I have a delivery. Or sooner. Huh? I'll hold you to that. You bet. Bye, Maureen. Open up the window. I'm breathing in the last of September. I can feel Look who's back! Mortimer! Oh, look at you! You're good as new! <coughs> yeah, Mr. Mackey did say not to feed him cupcakes. Hmm, I suppose he's right. It's, it's just that he likes them so much. Don't you, Mortimer? Anyway, thank you so much, Meredith. My pleasure. See you, Miss Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Say goodbye to Meredith, Mortimer. Thank you.
There's a face I remember. Good morning, Mr. Harris. Hey there. More paperwork with my name on it? Well, take a look for yourself. Thanks. Oh, it gets worse every day. Sorry to hear that. Can you believe it? I've been taking care of this lakeside for years. And now they're gonna bulldoze it build apartments. Oh, that's a shame. I'd hate to see the place I grew up ruined by an apartment building. What? You grew up here? Yes, my father was the mailman before me. Mr. Weiss? Ah, so you're the prodigy he's always talking about. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. But tell me about that paperwork. They say you could file an official objection, but I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. I'd rather get the chainsaw and cut down Town Hall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy now. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Well... Maybe I can help out. I'm better with paper than chainsaws. Would you? Awesome. I'll think about it. Have a great day. Good day, Mr. Harris. Hey, wait up. I'm done thinking about it. Maybe you'd want to go through all the files... together? Tomorrow afternoon? At Moe's? Food and drinks on me. Sure. Who can say no to food and drinks at Moe's? Awesome. I'll see you there then. I'll bring all the paperwork. Okay. Bye.
September. When the autumn.